Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya and this is Budgie Budgets uh, and today is going to be a bit of an everything video. So we are going to do our regular savings challenges. I think we will start with that. I will show you a couple of new challenges that are coming up into my Etsy store. We are going to reallocate my Christmas binder and I will show you how I'm going to save for the rest of Christmas. And um, we're going to reallocate that 50 envelope challenge uh, into another exciting new product that I will be releasing, which is super exciting. Um, it is a beautiful day here, so I think we can get away with no lights. It's nice and sunny. It is freezing, so if my hands are looking a little bit... <laughs> A little bit pink or a little bit red um, or a little bit white. That is why it is absolutely icy here today, but it's at least a nice day. Um, we're a little bit later than usual for the school run this morning because we went out and my car was covered with ice. Um, but that is all good. So let's start. Uh, we should have $70. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and 70. Um, ready to go. What we might do as well is change over 10 in budgie bucks. I think we've already, oh yeah, we've only got five left in there. So we'll change over 10. Uh, I really need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we'll get rid of the rest of those because we won't need them. And we will pop these. That was 10, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Beautiful. We'll pop those there. Okay, so I will show you. Will I do that first? I think I should do that first. Hold on. Let's pop this over here. So the new challenges that will be coming into my Etsy store are Trista. <laughs> Because you guys know I love a color dice game. Um, so I've left it I've left it open this time um, so that you can allocate your own amounts. I just feel like that's a little bit easier. Let me know in the comments what your preference is because it's, yeah, I, I just find it's a bit easier if you can pick your own values. That means if you want to make it a really high challenge, you can. And if you want it to be a really low challenge, you can do that too. So basically it's as simple as rolling the colored dice allocating how much you want to save for that color and coloring in the dots um and it will look something kind of like a twister mat sort of not really but anyway then i have cupcakes and sprinkles so again you get to choose how much each sprinkle is worth i believe there are 20 sprinkles i think i did this um so yeah again you can you know if you make it five dollars it's going to be a pretty decent challenge if you make it one dollar something gonna be a twenty dollar challenge so uh it's up to you then we have Save the Rainbow. Uh, so again, this is, well, you can use this as a color dice roll, but you don't have to. Um, so you can either use it as a color dice roll and you save what you roll, or you just pick the number that suits you that for that day and save that. It'll save you a total of 100. And then we have, I think this one's my favorite. Then we have Not My Gumdrop Buttons, <laughs> which is just... Oh, I love, I love, I love the gingerbread man from the Shrek films. He just absolutely cracks me up. Um, so we've got our little gingerbread man and we've got our gumdrop buttons. Again, you get to choose how much each gumdrop button is worth. There's 15 of them. Um, so yeah, if you want to make it a really mini challenge, make them a dollar each, you'll save $15, $2 each, $30 and so on and so forth. So yeah, those will be going up into my Etsy store. They will be part of the colourful trackers and challenges range. So you can buy them in a bundle um, if you want to. And I will, yeah, I will make them digitals as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I will. Um, so they will go up. I will be aiming to have all of this up on Monday, by Monday. So that gives me the weekend to get everything sorted. Um, get all the listing images done and all of that sort of thing. Um, and then that will go up then. So that is those. So what we're going to do, what are we going to do? Uh, I think I might do, oh, I'm really unsure. I've got to replace two challenges in my binder. Um, but I think what I will do, I think I'll do save the rainbow for now. Um, obviously I will do them all at some point 
And then the other challenge I'm going to do is from Amanda, Mum Wife Budget Life. I have had this one for ages. She sent it to me ages and ages and ages ago. And um, I keep forgetting that I have it because it's just in my drawer with my other because it's a bigger one. Um, but so I'm going to make every pin is a dollar. So we have to find my D10 dice, which I think is hopefully this one right here. No, that's a 12. Hmm. Do I have a D10 dice in here? I do think that I do. I definitely have an eight. Hold on. Hold on. Is that one? Yeah, that's an eight. There we go. That's the D10. Okay. Put all these back in. Put my little budgie back where. Whoops. My little budgie friends. Stay there. When you get tuck you in with all your dice friends. Okay. <laughs> so we roll a D10 and see how many pins we knock down. I'm not gonna do a second roll, so I'm not gonna save anything for a spare. If I get a strike, I'm gonna save the 10 plus an extra $2. Um, I think like if you wanted to make this challenge big, you really, really could. Like you could do a strikes worth 20 or 30, whatever. Um, but obviously the yeah challenges in here, I'm trying to keep one bigger one, which at the moment is my full house challenge. And then all the rest of them, I'm trying to keep on the smaller side um, just so I can stretch that money a little bit further. So that's the other challenge that we will be putting in. So let's get going and I'll just put them in as and when we get to them. I'll just leave that dice out so that I know I remember it's that one. Okay, so first of all, let's do 10 into our winter challenge. And we're so close, you guys. We're so close to getting this finished, which is exciting because that should mean that winter is nearly like, you know, getting close to being over. <laughs> I'm so hanging out for spring. Uh, yeah. I'm not coping well with these freezing, freezing cold mornings. And it feels so late in the year for it to be so, so cold. Uh, okay, so that's a 10 in there. So we've got 50, 60, 70, and $80 in there now. So we've got two fives and a 10 left to go. So three more weeks, hopefully, and that'll be done. And then we will reallocate that. Okay, this is a new one, which I'm so excited to play. So this is Never Have I Ever, and this comes from Prince by Carly Studio. So we are going to do Never Have I Ever. Yes is we're going to make $2. No, we're going to make $1. Let's see how we go. So we're going to have to roll two dice. Let's roll the green and the purple. Green, teal. I don't know. What the hell would you call that? Um, and then... Okay, let's make let's make this the top dice and this the purple one the side dice. Let's do that. Okay, let's go. Uh oh, I already forgot what I said. Okay, I think that one's the top dice. Oh god, I'm such a goose. Um, that one's the side dice. So roll one five. Never have I ever been on TV. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like maybe I have at some point, but I don't, I mean, not like, not like on purpose, if that makes sense. I was on a, um, I wasn't a little advertisement for a little tricycle when I was a little kid, um, but that wasn't on TV. That was in the catalog. Um, so I'm going to give that a dollar because I don't really think I've been on TV on purpose. Okay. Uh oh. All right. So four and three total white lie oh i mean of course i have yeah of course i have <laughs> i have children <laughs> yes i have definitely told a white lie in my time i don't like like lies lies the tism in me stops me from lying about big stuff um but yes okay three and three peeing in a pool um I mean, surely as a kid at some point, I've been swimming since I was like six months old. So I'm going to go yes, um, because, <laughs> because surely I have at some point. Certainly not as an adult, no. Um, no, I have a lot. I, I have a long history of pools and I was a lifeguard for a very long time during my uni years. One, two, three, four and five in total in there. Um, so I have a unique disdain for people disrespecting a swimming pool. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I've cleaned just revolting stuff out of a swimming pool. So, um, yeah, no. I mean, I do also know that there's enough chemicals in a swimming pool that it really wouldn't matter if you did pee in the pool. But uh, there you go. <laughs> that one's funny. 
Um, I had a great mood this morning. I've, I've been absolutely cracking up because my little girl is obviously at school today, but she has worked out because they have, um, they have iPads at school and she's only in grade two, right? She's just turned eight. Um, and they use iPads already, which I, I feel like is a little bit unnecessary. Like I know it's good for them to get used to technology and all that, but I still feel like, um, yeah, anyway, look, that's besides the point. She has an iPad at school. They use them regularly. And she's just worked out, um, like, a lot of apps are blocked. So, like, Messenger Kids, they can't have at school. It doesn't work on their network. Oh, gosh, my hands look so red. Sorry, guys. Um, but she has worked out that because I have an iPhone and she has an iPad, that she can message me on iMessages from school. <laughs> and she's only just worked this out, like, yesterday. Um, she's had the iPad since last year. And um, I just got a message before going, hi, mommy. And then with like a million emojis and t telling her, telling me how much I love her. And I was like, I love you too, Poss, but like you shouldn't be messaging at school. And then she's like, sends me. And she only just learned yesterday what SOS means because she was asking my husband, why is there an emoji that says soz? And of course, for young kids, soz is like, sorry. Um, so she was a bit confused about that. And my husband was explaining to her, um, that is SOS. And, and she's like, what does that mean? So he was explaining that to her. So then I get this text message this morning and it's not even the emoji. She's literally just written S dot O dot S. This is so hard. And I'm like, what's it wrong? She's like, my tasks today are so hard. So I just wrote back being like, you are a cheeky monkey. Like maybe it would be easier if you were concentrating on your work instead of being distracted and messaging me. But in any case, it was adorable. She's so adorable. <laughs> she just makes me laugh so much. SOS, this is so hard. I'd love to know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, something really silly. Okay, so we are doing full house. We've got an eight. Dare I pull another one? Um, let's do it. Okay, eight and five. Let's leave it there for now. I'm just going to put the used cards a bit further off to the side. I'll put the unused ones back in here just in case we want to have another go. Uh, so the Eight of Hearts. I'm so keen for this one to be finished. I really, really am. Uh, and the Five of Clubs. We are getting there. There are still quite a few big ones left, though, which is a bit of a worry. Um, like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tens in there still. Ouch. Mm, gosh, that, that is going to start making this one quite painful, isn't it? Uh, so sorry. So eight and five. So $13 going in there. One, two, and three. I'm not even, I better check that I am actually recording this properly. I am. Fief. Okay. So, oh, okay. Hang on. Let's. Uh, so 13, so we'll put in a five and we'll take out two. Beautiful. Okay, so I am going to come through after I do this video, I am going to film the cash condensing. This video is going up a day earlier than I thought, uh, just because I wanted to do this before I do the cash condensing. Um, yeah, so this has 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 225, 226. <gasps> oh my God. That's so beefy. Oh, that's going to be so much fun to reallocate. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Caralama. Let's do Let's come back to that one. I think maybe I should move that one to the back because I can forever not decide how much to put into it. Okay. So let's start with um, our Rock and Bowl by Amanda at Mum Wife Budget Life. Let's have a look. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, it would appear that this dice does not like my dice tower. So let's just roll it normally so that it's not flying all over the place. Okay, so five. Uh, so we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. <laughs> this one's cute. I like it. All right, so we'll put that in here. I might have to come up with like a little, like a little cover or something so they know what that one's for. Oh, that's cool, Amanda. I love this one. As soon as I saw it on her... Uh, channel when she was showing it. I was like, oh, I love that so much. I need it. Okay, so that's that one. We are going to give our little Flo and Ally sticker challenge a five. 
Um, what color should we do? Maybe like the lighter yellow. I'm trying to like vary it up a little bit. Okay, so this one now has 20, 40, and 50 in there. Uh, and this one will be for my husband's graduation if he decides that he wants to go. Um, otherwise, it will just go towards either like a nice date for us or maybe our anniversary. Ooh, it's our 10 year anniversary in September. I'm so excited. Uh, and our nine year wedding anniversary in December. Yes, we did move very, very quickly. <laughs> Don't judge, okay? I had to lock that down. He's a, um, my husband's a lot younger than I am. I think there's six or seven years between us. So it would have been foolish of me to not, um, you know, also he's just awesome. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Like I was keen to lock that down. Uh, okay, so four. Uh, should we do? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Purple. Ah, oh, is a one. Cool. Okay, so we can put five in there. Cute. I might make a mini version of this as well, which is like color in the dots. Maybe. Might be cool for like a mini Mondays challenge. We'll see. We will see. I felt really bad that after I uploaded my video yesterday, I hope I didn't like upset anybody. I didn't mean like absolutely nothing against any of my customers. I love you all dearly. And I cannot even express how in just unbelievably grateful I am um, for all of your support and all of your encouragement. Um, it means the world to me. It's just, this is the first time I've ever run a business. I had, like, it's, it's an amazing problem to have. Like not having enough time to fill all of my orders is an, is an incredible problem to have. It is not a problem I expected to have. Um, like, you know, I was hoping maybe I might be able to turn a profit in like two years, you know, to be like, to be so, um, oh God, what's the word? I don't know, to, to have so much positivity around it and to, to have so, uh, such an influx of orders and all of that thing in such a short amount of time has just been um, amazing. And I'm, I'm truly, I'm really very grateful. What I was saying more is that it's on me to really understand how much time these things are taking me and only take on orders accordingly um, to what I have time to do, just so that I don't overwhelm myself and just so that I don't have to turn around and go, oh, do you know what? I actually can't do this. Um, cause I, I want to be able to do this for the long term. I don't want this to be something that's like, I'm in and out. I want to be doing this for years to come. Um, so I don't want to burn out and I don't want to, um, yeah, I would hate to have to take everything down. Um, but that is absolutely not on any of you. Like if I, if I've accepted your order, it means I'm happy to do it. So please don't, please don't feel bad. Please don't feel like you have to change your order or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I just, I absolutely adore you guys. And I am so, I'm so grateful. And I do genuinely really love making everyone's orders. It's a lot of fun. My bird is going absolutely bananas and she is a cheeky, cheeky little monster because I have given her, um, I've given her treats and food, so she shouldn't be going bananas. Uh, okay, so a three into our roll and save, two, three. Um, and again, yeah, this is just a, I'm happy for this one to just be a little slow burner. That's fine with me. Uh, oh, we've already got two in there. Oh, maybe we didn't need budgie box today. We've already got two in there, so we can put in a five. So that now has 20, 30, 35, 40. Nice, we're getting close to that next 25 to cross off, which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, I'm happy for this to be a slow burn. Although, my daughters really, really want this bunk bed. Like, they're giving me so much grief about it. Um, just not sure. I'm just not sure how long my oldest daughter is actually going to want to share a room with her little sister. Like, it's going to get uncool soon. And she thinks definitely not, but I think it will. Um, you know, teenagers run, uh, but yeah, we'll see. I think we might put to the 10 in here. I think that's probably the responsible thing to do. So let's do that. I hope that this is the right, oh, it is. Yay. Uh, I will, oh no, I can't. Oh, okay. I could condense them down into the 15. I might do that. 
I might do that. We're getting there on this one. We are starting to get close. So we've got 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 145 in there, which is, I nearly put that back in the cash tray. Oh, Freya, what are you doing? Come on, you need your wits about you. We've got stuff to do. So we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. We still have 14 dollars. Okay, let's do, let's do another card from Full House. Um, because I'm scared of those tens. I really am. Um, yeah, once this is finished, then I can bring in another bigger challenge. Um, all right, come on. Be nice to me. Be nice. Oh, I knew it. I knew. I knew it was going to have to be a 10 because there's just not that many left, hey? Uh, there's just not that many cards left and there's a lot of tens. The odds are they're not in my favor. <laughs> okay, so let's change out 10 of these budgie bucks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll put those off to the side with their friends. We will take 10 out of here. Come on. Oh, good. My heat is coming on. I need that. I'm freezing. <laughs> We have our heater on auto. We don't ever turn it over like 18 degrees because uh, then I tend to overheat really easily. So. <laughs> All right, so we have 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 235, 236. Ooh, we're getting there. Okay, I'm so tempted to pull another card, but what are the chance? No, don't do that, Freya. That would be really silly. That would be really, very silly. <laughs> really very silly. Okay, uh, we're not going to roll another dice because if we get a strike, that's going to be a problem. We have one, two, three, four. Let's do another Never Have I Ever because that's funny. Okay, so green for the top, purple for the side. Okay, so two... And three, cried in public. Oh, for sure. I definitely have. I definitely have. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I, I think I feel like I've cried in public probably a lot of times, to be honest. I can be a pretty emotional person. I mean, not overly emotional. It does take a fair bit to get me going, but um, yeah. Five and five, used a dating app. Yes, I have. Yep, I was on good old Tinder for a little while um, after my divorce when I was a single mama. Oh, that's another treat. Okay, that's all of our money for this. Um, yeah, was on that for a little while. One, two, three, and four. Uh, they're interesting places, dating apps. Very interesting places. I do worry about my children with that sort of thing. Not, I mean, not that they'd be on it anytime soon, but like as adults, once that they're into that kind of world. Um, oh, no, I did. Oh, no, I did. I did do that. I did do that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. That is all of our savings challenges done. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys are all good to hang in there. And let's get into this business. So, we have finished our Christmas binder. So, we are going to unstuff it. These notes are all going to be so nice and crispy. We are going to check that we have what we should have. So there should be um, there should be 500 in here. Whoops. Um, hopefully. And then we can reallocate it into our other Christmas envelopes that we have waiting in our binder. And then I will show you. There's a lot of and then's happening here, isn't there? Then I'll show you the new product that's coming, which is how I'm going to save the rest of the money that I want, would like to have for Christmas. I was going to say would need for Christmas. Would it need it for Christmas? Um, I tend to make a bigger deal out of my kids' birthdays than out of Christmas. I'm um, not sure why. I just feel like Christmas is a really stressful time. Um, I think anybody who has any kind of difficult relationships with family or is from a broken family Christmas gets really difficult to manage so like when my kids still had contact with their dad trying to manage that each year so that they would see me and would see him um... <laughs> 
lol i put this in there to flatten it out earlier because my daughter took it to the shops look um so i need to put that back into my wallet um uh what was i saying yeah so man like yeah managing split families like my husband um parents are separated too so like trying to trying to get around and see everybody i just find really really stressful and i feel like you can't please everybody someone is always upset about where you've chosen to spend <laughs> the day that year it winds up being a whole lot of driving around and i just yeah i don't it makes it a miserable day for me um a lot of the time so i love like my famous my favorite christmases has been one year when i was in my late teens my parents took us to hamilton island which oh, was beautiful um and we just hung with them like it was just me and my brother and my parents that is like one of my favorite christmas the christmas day we went and got fish and chips and ate on the beach and it was just the best um and another year where my husband and i just decided do you know what we're just not gonna do anything <laughs> so we went down to my dad has a house near the beach we went down there and hung out and um i didn't see anyone else <laughs> is that terrible is that maybe like a terrible person maybe um but yeah i just it's just a lot anyway all that to say that we don't need so i'm aiming to have 1500 dollars ready to go for christmas um we don't need that much money it would be nice to have that much money um to put towards everything but we'll just see how we go so we have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 80 so 280 in 20s we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 uh oh 280 plus 120 in tens we should have 100 here in fives 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 yay so we have 500 there ready to go and what we are going to do is reallocate that into these christmas binders now what color do i normally use in here pink hey i feel like christmas should be red though maybe there's darker pink let's roll with that uh now i can't even remember so one two three four five six seven so that's 20 is that 28 i think i was gonna make them oh gosh i can't remember now Oh, I might color in the truckers later because it's going to be a long video anyway. And I need to work out exactly how much I want those trackers to be. I imagine I did it thinking I would make them $15 each, but that makes it $420, which seems like a lot. Anyway, all right. So let's go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We are putting... I got this messed up just a little bit. Okay, we are putting into my oldest daughter's presents... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 into my son's presents. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 into my youngest daughter's. And then I think, what else do we have left? Mom and dad, Christmas Eve, family, naughty elf. Okay, okay, okay I think we're going to do... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 into mum and dad. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 into Christmas Eve. Um, hmm. <laughs> no, do you know what? Maybe I'll do let's do sorry change my mind 10 20 30 40 50 because then i should have so there should be 150 in there and then i can do 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 we're going to start stretching the limits of these oh that five is grotty that's disgusting let's get rid of that one when we condense uh, so 150 in his as well 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and 
50 so 150 in my daughter's as well that's good that's a good like start on <laughs> look at that bulging envelope we will deal with that surely um and then 50 towards their christmas eve yes perfect okay so very happy with that so that is our christmas reallocation and then you guys this is how we're going to be saving for the rest of christmas this will be a new product in my store again i will try and have it listed by monday this is my little mini christmas binder so all up there are eight challenges and it will save a thousand dollars so we have merry and bright so each little globe is worth a dollar and there are 60 of them so you just color them in as you go so this is a great one to come to if you have like the last of your cash if you've got a certain amount to put into it we've got christmas tree or christmas tree and you scratch to reveal reveal the values of the baubles and the little presents down below the amounts on this range from 5 to 15 and it saves 100 in total then we have rolling with my nomies um if you know you know that is a clueless reference um so i just thought these little gnomes are so cute uh so this one saves 100 in total it's a couple of 15s a 20 and then the rest are 10s and fives then we have this party is cracker please disregard these grubby scratch offs yours will not look like that i just used the dodgy ones on the outside of the roll for my ones just to use them up um because waste not want not um but again, this party is cracker. If you have watched Dairy Girls, you will know that oh, that's an Orla thing, saying that everything is cracker. And I just couldn't miss the pun <laughs> for the Christmas crackers. So each Christmas cracker has either has anywhere from 10 to 25 in it, and this will save 140 all up. Then we have Candy Cane Lane. So each candy cane is $5. You can color them in, will save you 140 sugar spice and all things nice will save you 120 so each little gingerbread person is ten dollars are they not the cutest little gingerbread people you've ever seen i just think they're so adorable i love this little girl one so cute then we have run run rudolph um so you need to scratch to reveal rudolph's face and if it's a normal reindeer you save ten dollars if it has a red nose it means it's rudolph and you save 20 so this one save you 200 dollars all up and finally, we have Baking Spirits Bright. So each little Christmas cookie you can color in is worth $5 and it will save you $140. So it's $1,000 worth of savings all up. It looks little now. By the time it's full of cash, it will look nice and chunky. Um, these will be in my Etsy store, hopefully on Monday. Um, and yeah, they all have the little time. So ugh, I didn't even show you the most important thing. Each one is a cash envelope, so it's not just a booklet, it's its own binder. So you don't need a separate cash envelope. Each one's a cash envelope. It's got my little gingham on the back because it's so cute and I couldn't not in its little Christmas colors. Um, yeah, so there you go. That is how, I don't have any money to put into it today. Oh, is this one not gonna open for me? There we go. Um, but that is how we are going to save for Christmas moving forward. So I'll probably do my Christmas savings in with my savings challenges. I would think um but yeah that is what we're going to do so now we are going to move right along and unstuff and i will show you why we are unstuffing what should i do first should we unstuff first and see how much we've got in here let's do that first 